T-A-N-F, cash payments and who gets them. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I wanna talk about a program that sends out about $17 billion worth of cash payments each and every year to millions upon millions of Americans all across the country. The program is T-A-N-F and I have all the details for you here in this video, so let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so and because I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side each and every day watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on right now and most importantly how it's going to impact you going forward as things continue to change very, very rapidly. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and also remember, I'm here for you in any way that I can be. That's my dedication, that's my commitment, and as always, that is my promise to you and everybody right here in the community. All right, thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about TANF and how can you possibly grab your share of the $17 billion that they send out to millions of Americans all across the country. All right, now this is a program that's actually been around for about 27 years. Actually, it's a little bit less than 27 years. As of right now, it's about 26 years or so, but it was actually formed back in 1997. The good old 90s. Remember those days? Oh yeah, those were the good times, right? <laughs> anyway, my point is, this program has been around since then. It's actually a relatively new program, considering all these other programs that are out there to send out monthly benefits and cash payments and all kinds of things like this. This is actually a relatively newer program, even though you know it's about 26 years old. However, this program is one that is focused on lower income families with kids because it is called TANF, which stands for Temporary Assistance for Needy Families. So basically what it comes down to is those families who have kids that need some temporary assistance. Now, now remember, when I say temporary, it really is temporary assistance. That's why the whole name is temporary assistance for needy families. So basically what it is, it's a way to help out individuals and families with kids, basically getting some cash into your pockets and some additional guidance to help you out on a short-term basis to kind of help you out, kind of get back on your feet and kind of get that cash that you need to just get things established yet again. Now here's the difference with this program. This is a federally funded program, but rather it's administered on the state by state level. So just like a lot of the other programs that are out there specifically focused on the low income and fixed income beneficiaries, this one gets the money from the federal government. The federal government offers grants to different states as in all the states, and then the states actually administer these programs on a state by state basis. So here's the difference with this. Just like some of these other programs that are out there for the low income and fixed income, Unfortunately, it makes it kind of hard because all of these states have their own different rules, their different eligibility, all kinds of different um, you know parameters around this program. So as a result of that, unlike some of these other programs, for example, like Social Security Retirement or Social Security Disability or SSI, all of these are federally funded uh, programs and administered by the federal government. It's all encompassing across the entire co uh, country. So therefore, with these programs that I just mentioned, it's very easy to talk about all the details because it's basically one set of rules for everybody all across the entire country. Unfortunately, with a program like SNAP benefits, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or uh, in this situation, TANF, yes, it's still federally funded, as in the federal government sends the, sends the states all of the money and then they administer these programs on the state by state level. Therefore, all of these states have very different rules, eligibility, dollar amounts, all kinds of different things like that. So. There's literally like 50 different sets of rules, 50 different sets of eligibility criteria, all the details like that. So if you're in the situation where you are somebody who is maybe struggling right now, if you have younger kids who are obviously under the age of 18, who are, you know, obviously minors, things like this, and if you are having a hard time with cash, things like that, and if you're struggling right now, I would highly recommend checking out this program. That is why this program exists. It helps you out with cash payments to help you out for a short period of time until you can get things more established. And they do offer more services than just cash payments. They don't just send you a check every month and say, well, here you go, just do what you gotta do here. They offer a lot of other services as well, some counseling as well as other things to help you out 
on a monthly basis to kind of just set up your life and your situation to help you really succeed and to help you get uh, going, you know, kind of moving forward again. So that is the whole purpose behind this program. So I do want to emphasize again, temporary. Okay. Now, again, this is not like a long-term thing. It's not something that they want to continue to, you know, have people uh, on this program forever and ever. That's not the point of this program. It is a temporary program. However, it is there for people that need it. So if this feels like your situation, if this sounds like your situation, look into it. So here's what I would highly suggest doing. If you are located, you know, obviously wherever you're located in the country, it doesn't really matter. You could be in Florida, you could be New York, you could be in Ohio, you could be in Texas, California, Tennessee, literally it doesn't matter. Um, Washington, literally doesn't matter the state that you're located in. This is it all encompassing across all the different states. But since all the states have their own different rules and eligibility and criteria, things like that, the best thing I would suggest to do, if this, if this sounds like your situation, if you have younger kids and you're struggling, you need some cash payments, you need to kind of get some assistance right now getting back on your feet, I'd highly recommend checking out this program. Here's what I would recommend doing. Just go online, simply type in a quick internet search. Type in your state along with TANF, and you should be able to find some programs right there in your local area. You should be able to find some phone numbers, some websites, and your local office where you can either go to apply or you can find their website. You can call, you can contact somebody and talk about the next steps as far as what you can do to start getting some of this assist assistance. Like I said, $17 billion is what they spend on this program every single year. So it's kind of a lot of money, right? and they help out millions and millions of people each and every year, and um, it's available. So by all means, if this is your situation, make a phone call, do some internet searching, right? So again, like I said, just do a simple internet search. You should be able to find something very, very easily based on your state and just follow it up. So for example, let's just say that you're located in California. Just type in online into a search engine, California TANF, and you should be able to find a program. If you wanna you know, search a little bit more granular, type in your city or the nearest city uh, located near you. Now, for example, let's just say that you're located in you know, whatever state, doesn't really matter. Let's just say that you're in more of a, a rural area. Now, obviously they're probably not gonna have a, you know, a, an office in your, in your small town, if that's the case. But type in the closest city to you, as in like the bigger city uh, closest to you, type that in along with your state and you should be able to find an office in that area. If not, keep going bigger and bigger until you find something. But you will, we will certainly find something on your state by state level, just if you keep searching. So that's what I would recommend doing. Um, but again, all you need to do is just find the phone number for your respective state, you know, find the phone number, find the website, do some research. Otherwise, just call. Seriously, there's nothing wrong with calling. That's why these people are there. Somebody will answer the phone or it'll be an automated system, whatever it happens to be for your particular state. And they will get you on the, you know, kind of on the path to maybe uh, filing for benefits or they can actually direct you toward additional resources in your local area as well. Now, again, I want to point this out as well. If you are somebody who's also struggling right now, you know, you need some money, you need some cash, things like this, you probably also qualify for SS, um, sorry, I meant to say um, SNAP benefits. I was about to say SSI, maybe in some instances you may qualify for SSI as well, but most likely you probably qualify for SNAP benefits, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, otherwise known as food stamps. Now I know that that's very basic, but at the same time, anytime that I talk about SNAP or food stamps on the channel here, I see every single time down in the comment section, I just applied and I got accepted. So there's always people out there that are still eligible for these programs that don't even know it. So you're probably eligible for that one as well. Even though you probably already know about that, you just never know, okay? It's always worth trying, okay? But either way, if you, um, if you fall into the category where you feel like you need some assistance from the TANF program, the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, check that one out. Again, a simple internet search, call the phone number, check out the website, things like that for your respective state. And then again, um, just do what you got to do there. So remember, wherever state you're located in. So for example, if you're located in California, don't be calling the Texas office and trying to get benefits. That's not how it works, okay? You got to call your respective office in your local state, okay? So I just want to make that very clear because it's a state-by-state -state program and you got to be a resident of the state in which you're trying to apply, if that makes sense, okay? So hope that makes sense. Otherwise, this is another program that's out there. In fact, believe it or not, there are over 100 different government programs out there right now to help you out with a variety of different things if you're somebody who is low income or a fixed income beneficiary. There's a lot of different programs out there, over a hundred of them. In fact, 
there's been talk about consolidating all of these programs down into just like one or two different programs. What's the likelihood of that happening? Well, probably never gonna happen, being real with you. But there has been talk about it because a lot of the times they don't even know all these programs that are out there because there's so many of them and they kind of get you know lost kind of in the mix. So anyway, this is another big program out there. It's kind of a popular one. Um, there's some people that take advantage of it, but you know, do what you gotta do if this is your situation. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. Again, I've seen a lot of people down in the comments section struggling and I know this is the situation for some people. Therefore, if this video even helps just one person, it's completely worth my time to make this because all I want to do is bring information to you. I just want to help you out as much as I can, especially right now when things are really tight and it's a tough time for a lot of people. Either way, I'm here for you. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Also, do your friends, family, uh, social media a favor. Share this video with them, especially if you know somebody that is struggling right now. Make sure to share this video with them so they can take advantage of this program. Also, go back and check out any of the other thousands upon thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. I hope this one helps you, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.